हेलो 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 हाय गाइस गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम बैक टू इन वीडियो की हाल चाल आई होप यू डूइंग गुड इन दिस वी गोन सी अ प्रॉब्लम मैक्सिमम सम विद एटमोस्ट के एलिमेंट्स इट सिंपली सेज दैट यू आर गिवन अ 2D इंटीजर आर ए मैट्रिक्स ग्रिड एज यू कैन सी ऑफ साइज n क्रॉस m एंड वी हैव एन इंटीजर आर ए लिमिट्स ऑफ साइज n व्हिच मींस फॉर ईच रो देयर इज अ वैल्यू सो इफ आई इमेजिन आई हैव अ मैट्रिक्स इन व्हिच द फर्स्ट रो इज 1, 2 सेकंड रो इज 3, 4 फॉर द फर्स्ट रो द लिमिट is 1 second row the limit is 2 and we also have an integer k basically my task is to find out the maximum sum of at most k elements from the matrix grid why they are saying at most k because again i cannot choose more than k elements from this grid which means i can choose only two elements choose only two that is the maximum i can choose from this specific grid and the number of elements taken from the ith row should not exceed limit which means from individual row also i have a limit that i cannot take more than these my number of elements from this row same way from this row i cannot take more than one element now i have to do the maximum sum now obviously if i ask you that you have to take summation of some numbers and achieve some result and i am asking you to have that result as max as possible obviously you will try that the individual numbers are also as max as possible and in this case i can choose at max k numbers at max k numbers i can choose so i will try that those individual k numbers are as max as possible now in these kind of questions make sure that you have a quick glance at the constraint constraint says n and m are both less than 500 so i can obviously skim through the entire array the values are okay uh, up till 25 and uh, limits is less than the column so again there's no edge case here and also they are saying that k will be less than equal to n into m which is that uh, again i will be able to get k elements obviously now there's one very small catch obviously all the elements you know uh, all the elements this grid value are positive or zero so again no worry in that sense also we can just simply go ahead and add the numbers even if you know we had some negative numbers so they are certain at most k at most k so i can skip the negative numbers if we had negative numbers but in the, in this case we don't have it now obviously in this case i have to choose two numbers i have to choose two numbers such that their sum is maximum obviously what i will do i will choose four as one of the numbers okay i will choose four Again, well, how I did? I went on to one element which has the maximum value. I can choose anything from the entire grid. I will choose four. Now, obviously, because I have cho chosen four, this row one element is gone. How many I can take? I can take one more element. Okay, that's the status right now. Now, what I will do next? I will go on to the next number which is highest, three. Okay, just take it, three. now my value became a 7 and that is as max as possible but what it can be what we did we greedily chose the maximum value again if you don't know a simple greedy behavior this is a very 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 common problem which we have seen you will see a lot of problems in the greedy in you know our practice problem sheet you will find it that there are a lot of a similar problems which we have seen before again there are a lot of same problems again you can go to hard category also but in the medium you will find similar problems before we proceed forward make sure the light light target is 75 likes please like kar dena now proceeding forward let's do with the next case also it says that the first row has 5 3 7 second row 8 2 6 now obviously the limit for that is 2 the limit for that is 2 i can choose three elements what how i will choose i will firstly choose maximum value 8 then next maximum 7 then next maximum which is 6 this is my corresponding answer which is 21 so obviously how can you go again obviously i am saying at every point in time i have to choose the maximum value for every row for every row so if i just put the values back again i can use a uh, priority queue i can use a set i can use multiple things but if you see even if you use a priority queue you will have to put all these elements in the priority queue right all these in the priority queue so technically i am putting all the elements in the priority queue right so why can't i simply sort it i will get all these elements you know i'll get 5 3 7 8 2 6 and i will simply sort them again in the descending order so i'll get 8 7 6 5 3 2 now i know that i have to simply take the starting k elements 
because obviously all elements are positive so i'll take starting k elements but there's a small catch the small catch is i have to also make sure that i'm maintaining the limit for individual rows how to cater that again to cater that i can say okay for each for each for each element i will maintain its its row also its row number also so it will say r0 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 r1 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 okay great so when i will sort it i will sort the element and its corresponding row number so it will say r1 it will say r0 it will say r1 it will say r0 it will say r0 it will say r1 now when i will be iterating on it i will check the count i will check the count for a specific row that okay for r0 what is the count so far for r1 what is the count so far and that count should be less than equal to their corresponding limit so okay let's proceed forward and start adding so i will say okay uh, in the in the very beginning my count for r1 is 0 and i have a limit of 2 so i can take it i will take it okay it increased by 1 then i go into next value it says that count of r0 is 0 and i can take two elements yes i can take it okay yes i will take it and then this became one okay next let's for let's proceed forward if my count of r1 is my count of um, r1 is one i can take two yes i can take it okay let's take it increase it which means that next time even r1 would have come up i would have not taken it but as i can see i will also have to keep another count that how many I have selected so far. So you can see I have selected three elements so far. My limit itself was 4k. So I have to also make sure that this selected count should be less than equal to k. And that's how I will stop right here. And that is my answer. Cool. So ultimately what you did, you are sorting all these elements and again sorting how many elements? You have n into m elements. Sorting them will take O of log of n into m time. And obviously I will maintain a count for individual rows. Thus the space will be O of n in this case. And again, uh, us obviously in Java and C++ we have sorting space as well which will be log of n into m. But again uh, in Python it will be n into m as a space again i'll show you in a space complexity as well but this is the entire logic which we can take so i will take an array which will be vector of pair why pair because i will may have to maintain the value and its corresponding row itself then i will sort all n into m elements that will take o of log you know o of n into m log n into m time and again space taken because of this sorting for java and c plus will be log but for python it will be n into m as the space now proceeding forward i have to maintain the count which is the so far or again if you don't want to maintain the count you can decrease this limit as well but again if you change anything in the input vector it is counted in the space itself so obviously i will i can take a new vector count or i can existingly decrease the limits vector as well okay this is my final sum which i want and this selected is the number of elements that has been selected so far and it needs to be less than equal to k so when i will be iterating on all the elements of my arr which is a value and its corresponding row i will check the count for that specific row if it is less than equal to you know if it is less than my limits only in that case i can take that row and also making sure that i have not consumed k elements so far so I will obviously take that value in my sum. I will increase the count for that row and I will increase the selected element count as well. Obviously, I will have a simple base case if the count has reached, you know, if the selected elements have reached k, I am done with taking k elements. I cannot take any elements further. So it's a simple pruning which I can apply here and ultimately returning the sum. Obviously, this will take O of n into m time. Most of the time is taken by sorting. So time taken will be O of n into m log of n into m. Space used will be nothing but because of using a array ARR, it will be taking O of n into m space. Obviously, because we have to take that and sort it again. And this will take O of n into m space. Again, uh, even if you would have taken priority queues, it, it would have taken O of n to m space because you will have to put up all the elements in the priority queue. Again, sorting and stuff will take their own space, but ultimately it will be capping up with this space. Obviously, this will take its own O of n space, but still this is the 
gapping space so o of n into m will be its maximum space bye bye take care please make sure that we complete the like target bye